Hi everyone! <clears throat> oh gosh. <laughs> um, hi everyone and welcome to the New Leaf Podcast. I wanted to record a short video about a cross stitch that I have finished today. Um, I've started it on Monday uh, and today is Wednesday so I finished this quicker than I've ever finished any cross stitch project before. Um, and yes, I am just making this short video because I want to practice getting back into creating videos because I tested positive, um, just under 10 days ago and yeah, my voice is not <laughs> where it's usually at. My head feels like I've been describing it as fog in a fishbowl. Um, I feel like, yeah, you know, um, but luckily most of the symptoms are already gone. Um, sorry, I will try to edit most of the, uh, noises out. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I had muscle ache, um, a bit of fever, um, I was, you know, hot and cold and hot and cold and my, my skin, you know, when you're sick, your skin just feels like all of the hairs are in the opposite direction and it was just, <laughs> yeah. And for the first five days, I could not do much else than sleep. So I think I slept about 16 hours a day. Um, yeah, and I uh, I did not have the energy to craft at all. Um, not even to watch TV. Like, uh, I think that was, you know, maybe maybe day four or day five I could finally, like, watch some TV or play a game on my phone or... Yeah, but then uh, I did... Um, start knitting bits and pieces again. I oh, and I crocheted some oak leaves for my pumpkin wreath that is now finished. Um, and on Monday, I decided to start this cross stitch. So, um, I'm just going to show you in full. I just need to be a little bit careful because the needle is still here. But look how cute this is. It's a ghostly tea party. It's called T42, and this is a design by Lindsay Swearingen. I'm not sure where she's from, so I'm not sure I'm with which kind of accent to pronounce her name. I think she's just American, so, uh, so apologies if I'm pronouncing that wrong. Uh, I see a bit of fluff just poking out here. That's a bit annoying. Anyway. I'll fix that later. Sometimes when you, you know, you have lots of ends on the back and sometimes one, one of those ends or a piece of fluff will get pulled through to the right side. Um, so Lindsay Swearingen, uh, she is Tusk and Cardinal, Cardinal, sorry, Tusk and Cardinal on, um, um, uh, Instagram. Sorry, the brain fog is still like... All right, um, and she has a book out called Creepy Cross Stitch, and it's it's just super cute. It's like more of this, um, more of this style, and I thought it was so cute. Uh, I'm never really into creepy things or like Halloween things, but when it's creepy and cute, I am loving it. Yeah, just the little ghosties having some tea and look with their skull buddy here. It's so cute. I love it. And you see, it's quite tiny. Um, <clears throat> and uh, so I think that's why it was so quick to, to finish. I started this on Monday, like noon, and I finished it on noon today, Wednesday. So it's basically like 48 hours. Um, so yeah, super cute. And um, you might have noticed just now <laughs> that uh, part of this, yeah, it's, I don't know what I was thinking, uh, but I thought, and I actually do still think that the pattern is meant to be on black uh, 
cloth because um, all of these black boxes here in the pattern are just like uh, black and there's no icon for that in the um, materials and like color list. The only black stitches are like the faces of the ghosts and the skull and that is black with a little cross in it and then it says that in the materials list. So I'm I'm thinking that this was meant to be for on um, black uh, fabric. I did not have any black fabric, so I thought, I thought, well, I'll just color some fabric that I have, and because it is like not an even tone, I thought it will be extra spooky. Um, so I thought, why not? And I don't really care about this fabric, so so I'm. It's it's not a really dumb idea. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's just really ugly at the side, but but I don't know, I might still use it, but I started using it and I just could not see the stitches. I could not. And this is already, uh, I think, a more difficult fabric because there are no, like, designated um, stitches like there is with, for example, Aida cloth. Um, or Ada cloth, I don't know how it's pronounced. Um, so it's already more difficult because some of the, I think this is linen, I don't know, some of the uh, like lines, strands are thicker than others, some are thinner, so it's not, you're, you're not gonna get a completely even fabric. And then because it was all variegated like this, um, I could not see it, so I decided to try on the other side of the fabric. Um, I can I can actually open this now. I really like this hoop. It is by Clover. Clover also makes crochet hooks. <clears throat> I bought this when I was getting into punch needle, because with punch needle, uh, the regular frames that you can get. Um, are not strong enough because, well, you have to punch with quite a bit of force and um, regular hoops were just, you know, loosening up after two or three stitches. And this one um, is able to clamp the fabric really, really well. And, you know, I, I use it for a cross stitch now as well because it's just really nice. So... Yeah, here it is. I'm going to iron it um, and then I am going to frame it and I am shocked that I finished this before Halloween. Um, this pattern, so um, Lindsay has a Etsy shop. I think it's linked in her um, Instagram page, so if you, if you look for Tusk and Carnital, I keep saying Carnital. Tusk and Cardinal, like Cardinal, like the bird, like from Angry Birds, the red one is the red Cardinal. Okay. <laughs> um, what was I saying? Yeah, it had been on my wish list from last Halloween. And then, uh, you know, it was after Halloween and then I was like, oh, yeah, don't really want to work on it now. And um, there's no, no point in buying this now. And then last week I finally bought it. No, it was a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> and I finally, uh, uh, when I started it last Monday, I was like already resigned to the idea like, okay, I won't finish it for this Halloween, but at least I will have made some progress and I can finish it for next, yeah, next year. Same as with my, pump, sorry, same as with my pumpkin wreath uh, last year. Um, it was not finished at all. I still hung it up on the door. Um, <laughs> it was looking a little bit minimalistic, but I think just, uh, with these seasonal projects, the best time to start is just always going to be now. Uh, it's always going to be the day that you think of it. Um, because, you know, we, we get so weird about things. We, we like, um, Oh, there's not enough time, so why bother, you know? But, uh, yeah, turns out I was actually able to finish it, so... <laughs> I'm 
that's quite a shock, but uh, also I really like it. Um, so yeah, uh, <laughs> I just wanted to show you. I'm going to frame it and then put it somewhere in the home and then I am probably going to put it away after Halloween because that's the other thing with these seasonal things. I want them to be special when I take them out. Um, same with Christmas decorations. Um, so yeah, I'm going to find a nice frame and then, uh, <laughs> um, yeah, and then I'll watch the nightmare before Christmas this weekend. Um, that's, yeah, that's my Halloween. And eating the, the candy. Yeah. Right, thank you for watching this video. I hope my uh, voice or, I don't know, I hope it wasn't too distracting. I hope you still enjoyed it and hopefully I'll be back soon with another video. Thank you. Bye-bye.